Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So, I have another Civivi unboxing for you. And just like the last video, probably, where I unboxed the Wyvern, this is a discontinued model. It's been discontinued for quite a while. And if you don't know, Civivi's kind of gone through, cleaned house, and they are discontinuing a lot of good knives. So, if there's one you want, you just never bought, you better go get it because eventually they'll be gone. This is an older model, like the Wyvern. I don't, I don't know which one came out first, but it's been discontinued for quite a while. And I decided, I saw it listed, I decided I've always wanted that knife, and I'm going to get it now. Before they're completely gone, so... Yeah, this is the Civivi Governor. Blue G10 handle, gray color, stainless steel liner, D2 blade, satin finish. This is one of those knives I've always wanted. One of the Civivis I've always wanted, just never got because they come out with so many new ones all the time. There was always something else. And I'm digging the Wyvern so far. Um... Again, one I always wanted, just never never pulled the trigger on. But yeah, let's get through this. The Civivi box showed you the label, usual pouch, stickers, all that stuff. Let's get the knife out. Here it is. The governor. And a couple reasons why I always wanted this was... It was thumb stud deployment. I think it was probably the first thumb stud deploy playing knife that Civivi came out with. G10. It's a large knife. As you can tell. Um, just a classic design to it. I like the handle. I like the drop point blade. It's kind of an elongated spear point almost. Hollow ground, yeah. Plus, Civivi was coming out with everything bearing pivots, right? Bearings in the pivots. This is actually phosphorus bronze washer. And there's times where bearings ain't, are not the best thing to have if you're doing heavy, dirty work. Um, centering is dead center. Deep carry pocket clip, the old style clip, long clip, flathead screws, sits on top, left hand, right hand, tip up carry, got a backspacer here, um, thumb stud, that's pretty excellent, um, a little tight, this could probably use a little, little Oil, who knows how long it's been on the shelf. Um, otherwise, I think this would be more drop shutty, but it's not. Um, yeah, the governor. You know, again, it's, this is three, four-year-old model. It's been out for a while. It's been discontinued for a while. But if you don't know what it is, and this looks interesting to you, I'll go over it a little bit. Go out, look for it. Comes in different colors. Um, but you get a D2 blade that's, well, overall length is, like I said, it's a larger knife. Overall length is 3.875. Excellent. It's one of my larger knives. Um, D2 blade. That's 3.875 inches with a 3.75 cutting edge. It is only 0.12 inches thick. Nice hollow grind. Um, satin finish. Really nice. The grinds look awesome on it. Feels pretty sharp like most of Evie's do. And... I do have a piece of paper. 
Yeah. I didn't I didn't do a cut test with the live run when I did it, but that's slicey just like this. G10 handles. Handle is 4.875 inches. The grip area is about one, two, three, four inches. Um one inch tall, 0.48 inches, just under half an inch thick. Um, stainless steel liners, stainless steel liner lock, fully fully on the tang, about 45%. Nice access. Um, ergos feel excellent. I do not feel... That pocket clip, I'm not feeling that hardly at all. Sometimes deep carry clips right to the end can dig in, but that handle's plenty long enough. It's almost past my hand. So, very comfortable. You can choke up if you're careful. That's a oversized sharpening trial. It's not a finger trial. <clears throat> but yeah, I just, I've always liked the looks of this and it, it being larger with thumb studs and washers instead of bearings. I'm like, I always, I always wanted it. As you can, might be able to see, it is heavily skeletonized. Um, chunky knife, you know, it's a big knife, got... A long blade, full well, full stainless steel liners that are skeletonized. Thing is listed weighing four point two two ounces. If I can unbury my scale, we'll check that out. Come on, I get four point two. Compare that to the Wyvern, which I didn't tell the weight, and it's unboxing. Is I get 3.1, so pretty awesome. But what else can I say about this? I'm digging it. This this one I'm gonna carry probably starting right now. Maybe drop a little oil in the pivot. I really don't want to adjust it because the centering is dead center. We could try it. Try to loosen it a little bit. Centering move. Not yet. And yeah, uh, that feels better. Definitely. I do not have my oil right here. Or I Put a couple of drops in there. Uh, yeah, centering's still good. Any blade play? Yep. Just tighten it a little bit. Any blade play? Nope. I'm going to pause this. Go get my little tube of oil. Put a couple of drops in. Let's see what it does. Okay, so... I want to get the oil. This is Tough Glide Rust Inhibitor and Lubricant. Um, it's a lighter weight oil. So let's try to get some down in the pivot. See what I'm doing. Oops. See, it just about pours right out. Way too much. I'll be wiping oil off it for days. Work it in a little bit. Blow it down in there. It, one thing, it is nice and smooth. Um, maybe it'll never be, be drop shutty, but... Nice and smooth. Yeah, well, I got it covered in oil now. But anyways... Action is good. Opening action. Yeah, 
detents nice, detents tuned in. Yeah, just overall, I love, I like it. It's a larger knife, stoved in, hollow grind, ground, it's going to be slicey. Um, does have a fairly dainty tip on it. I'd like to have that tip just a little, little thicker, but still, I can see if you're doing any kind of digging or doing anything, that tip could possibly snap, but I have never, I've chipped the, the tip, but never broken one, I mean, Look at the blade to handle ratio. Oh, they, they couldn't have get, gotten too much more in there. But yeah, I'm glad I bought this. Um, I paid for this one $39.99 at Blade Ops. I don't think that was bad. I think that, this was also $50 in the $50 range. Look at that. Oh, that's sharp. Um, but yeah, I guess that will do it for this. It's just an unboxing. I'll definitely revisit this in the future. You'll, you'll probably see this along with the Wyvern in my weekly update videos. And yeah, both of these knives I like. Both are discontinued. In fact, half my Civivis I own have now been discontinued. Maybe I'll do a video on all the discontinued knives that I own. Because there are some there are some awesome knives that they're discontinuing. And yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe. And until the next video, bye.